performer, his name is Ron Swanson. Reverend Ron Swanson. Show some respect and some love for the amazingly talented, the very famous Ron Swanson. Thank you. Thank you. Keep it going for Marcos. He's a good friend of mine. Keep it going for your host tonight, Princess Ruru. So, uh, had a rough day today. Uh, I got up and I went to my laundry room and I saw a tub of OxyClean sitting there and I immediately fell to my knees and started crying because I remember that Billy Mace is dead. Aww. Yeah, that guy was a great salesman. I don't even use the OxyClean. He was just that good of a salesman. Like, remember those commercials? He's like, I'm Billy Mace for OxyClean. Put this shit in your laundry. It makes your wives whiter. makes your brides brighter. Mix it in with your coffee in the morning. Mix it with some potatoes. Makes a great side dish. Rub that shit on your junk if you got syphilis. I'm Billy Mays. I'm gonna go do some cocaine. That guy is a great salesman. And he seems to be you know, so much better than the Sham Wow guy who punches hookers. He is still alive. Punching hookers increases a man's life by one year of every strike. <laughs> oh man, so I had sex last weekend. Yeah, I don't have sex very often. I would like to tell you that I have sex once every blue moon, but the reality is the blue moon comes more often than I do. One person is going to get that joke later when they're driving home, and they're going to be like, Come. Oh, I get it. That's gross. <laughs> but here's the best part. When I was having sex with the school, but before we had sex. She, what? What's up? No, no, don't let me interrupt. What's up? Okay, <laughs> thank you, thank you, madam, for the look of embarrassment when he said that. I was like, oh god. Anyway, so before we actually had sex, me and this woman, this is a true story, before me and this, not her, the girl I had sex with, before we actually had sex, she grabs my penis and says, I like, in a Borat voice. True story, she actually gets it and goes, I like, and I was like, you are awesome! <laughs> High five! <laughs> I want to have your baby. Which is weird because I don't have a uterus or capable of creating a child, so... That was weird. I needed though, I needed that sex because I just got out of a relationship a couple of months ago. And so I was feeling kind of lonely. The, the girl broke up with me. Uh, I thought it was kind of bullshit reason she broke up with me. Uh, she broke up with me because I was given a, a strip tease to the Pokemon theme. I was like, I want to be the very best, like no one ever was. Wait, where are you going? Loneliness. I choose you. So do you guys ever do this uh, when you're in the shower? I, I didn't even get to the, the point I'm making yet. And I'm like, no, fat man, we don't do anything you do. No matter what it is. <laughs> you guys ever do this when you're in the shower? Like, you, you move your body just right so the water's running down your arms and it looks like it's coming out of your fingertips? Anyone ever do that? I like to do that and pretend I like to do that and then pretend I'm the lamest X-Men ever. Like, hey, hey Magneto, look at this. Water is dripping from my fingertips. Come here, I'll get you slightly damp. Oh, 
also, man, dating is hard. Who's dating right now? Who's dating? It's hard, isn't it? I have such a hard time with women dating. Like, one time I asked a woman out, and rather than say no to me, she slit her wrists in front of me. Which is a little confusing, because I was like, is that a no? That was a bad date. <laughs> but women, women are just so independent, which is a good thing. It really is. I just don't like it. When I hold the door open for a woman, I gotta get a 20 minute lecture about how my one act of chivalry is me almost taking away her right to vote. <laughs> I'm just being nice. So I started dating a group of people who appreciate it when an overweight, awkward white guy opens the door for them. I started dating black men. <laughs> That's right, reparations, motherfucker. Ladies, I got some advice for you. If you're dating in the audience right now, I'm gonna tell you right now. You, if you're gonna go on a date with a guy who has a uh, Monster Energy Drink t-shirt and or hat, possibly a Monster Energy Drink decal on his truck that's complete with truck nuts, you're gonna get raped that night. Just don't take any drinks. Do not accept a single drink from the Monster Energy Drink rapist. <laughs> Great advice right there. You need to be at like a rape prevention seminar. You just get on stage. Don't get raped. That's my advice for you. Just don't do it. Do not want, as the internet says. Uh, so women, women love funny guys, they always say. Like, I just want a guy who's funny. And I like go up to a girl in a bar, and I'm a funny guy, and I'm like, hey. When is you two going to find what they're looking for so I can finally sleep at night? And then she's like, yeah, that's funny. And then the guy with like a sick pack of abs comes by and he's like, this guy's fat. And the girl's like, ha 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 you're so funny. Like, it's like, what I said was so much funnier. But that's what women, see that's what women love. Women love the self-confidence. I meant money is actually how I meant to end that sentence. That's what women love. But I'm a, uh, but I'm actually seeing somebody right now. She's great. Uh, she loves me because I'm funny. I love her because she has breasts. That's two of the qualities I look for in a woman. But like any relationship, we have our problems. Uh, our biggest problem is the fact she's imaginary. I made her up. And that's difficult on a relationship when one of you doesn't exist on a physical realm. What was that? Yeah, a real doll? <laughs> I don't think I'm at that point yet where I'm having sex with a piece of plastic. Uh, so I, I, I used to see this one girl, I used to date this one girl who told me, and she was a fat girl, and she told me I had to lose 50 pounds before she would have sex with me. Which is weird. I love chubby women. I do. You know why? Because fat girls can do one thing better than any skinny girl can, and it rhymes with blowjob. But <laughs> are you really trying to figure that one out? No job, no job. She said no job. But this fat girl told me I had to lose 50 pounds before she'd have sex with me because she said she has standards. Long story short, I did not lose the 50 pounds, but it turns out she's got herpes, so I won. I'm an atheist, but someone upstairs loves me. Thank you, Lord Zeno, or whoever it is that Scientology believes in. Funny story, though. She found a clip of me doing that joke on YouTube. And I got a very angry email. She's like, I can't believe you tell people on stage that I have herpes. And I'm like, first of all, no one knows who the fuck you are. Second of all, we had that little piece of paper that keeps you from coming to my shows. I went to Taco Bell today for lunch. I love Taco Bell. Anybody like Taco Bell here? I love Taco Bell. It was weird though, because when I pulled up to the drive-thru, I think Christopher Walken was my drive-thru. Like I pull up and I hear, hello, welcome to Taco Bell. Can I take your order, please? I was like, walking? And he's like, no, sir, you're in the drive-thru. Please pull around if you want to walk in. I love Taco Bell, but I don't like what it does in my digestive tract. 
Like, I'll be out and about and I see a Taco Bell, and I'm like, oh, I can totally go for some Taco Bell right now. And then I get to Taco Bell and I go home and I have diarrhea. And I'm like, oh, I'm never eating Taco Bell again. But then the next day, I'm like an Alzheimer's patient. And I see a Taco Bell, and I'm like, I can totally go for some Taco Bell right now. <laughs> Does it look like I'm losing weight, sir? <laughs> but Alzheimer's, that's some scary stuff, man. I don't want Alzheimer's. That's why every night when I go to bed, I write myself a little note that says, Dear Ron, if you don't remember writing this, kill yourself now because you have Alzheimer's. Love, Ron. So if you guys don't think I'm funny, just break into my place tonight, change that note. You'll wipe my comedy from the face of the earth. I'll wake up tomorrow and I'll be like, Dear Ron, elephants are pink. If you don't remember writing this, kill yourself. You have Alzheimer's. Sincerely, Ron. I'll be like, whoa. I don't remember writing this. I must have Alzheimer's. I mean, that doesn't look like my penmanship. And that certainly doesn't look like my signature. But what do I know? I have Alzheimer's. 